Hey guys, it's Landon Blake with Redefined Horizons. This is the second video I'm doing in a set of videos that show you how we put together a, what we call here a boundary and land title quick check. This is for eight parcels in uh, Bakerfield. So I went ahead and pulled the survey maps. You can see now I've got them under in my quick check folder. I've got them under research, filed survey maps. And uh, there's not a whole lot here. <laughs> so, uh, but we'll take a quick look at what we do have. So this, uh, let me find the right map here, guys, sorry. So this is uh, the map that created those lots, uh, that, that little stack of lots. Let me, sh let me show you guys. Created this little stack of lots, 15 to 21. Here's the lots. This is a map from the late 70s. Um, I'm embarrassed to say that this is this map was actually done by a it was actually done by a land surveyor because uh, it's not a very good map <laughs> as oftentimes old surveyor maps aren't so here's the, here's that stack of lots guys All right right here it's a stack of lots okay so those lots are uh, 15 to 21. Okay, so uh, not a lot of monuments set on here. The map's hard to read. I don't even know what these scribbles down here are. Um, he didn't lot any of these corners. I mean, he didn't monument any of these, these lot corners. Um, this is going to be hard to put back on the ground. Uh, but it is what it is. So those are 50-foot lots. Okay, so that's the, the parcel map for that kind of first chunk of our parcel. Um, then this parcel over here is uh, a, part, a portion of parcel 3 as shown on this other map. So here's parcel three, so we're, we're a chunk of this, right? We're, we're in here, roughly. Uh, so this map's a little better. Um, not much, <laughs> but it, it's it's a little better. Um, we, we got a couple mods here, don't know if they're in. Um, but again, doesn't look to me like, it doesn't look to me like he set, um, set any of these corners, uh, which sucks. You know, we just didn't do a good job back in the day. Um, so, it is what it is. All right, so those are the two maps. Uh, so not a huge amount of help here. Uh, the important thing to note is that uh, it doesn't look like any of our corners have ever been set, right? So that, that not on a officially filed survey, so that can be a problem. So these are some just some maps in the area. Um, you know, this one's older than Sin and isn't going to help very much. Uh, this one is on our. Uh, let's see, this one is over on the. Um, uh, east side so I think this is roughly around our this is on our east line I think okay and then this one is nope that's the old one sorry um, this one is uh, kind of northwest of us so we're down here we might be over oh here's Union we're, we fall right in here Okay, so, and this is probably my best shot of putting this back on the ground, is this map right here. So when was this done? This was done in 83. Um, and this guy definitely did did a, a better job. I still don't know if he set these corners, though. I'd have to look at all the notes on the map, but yeah, I don't know I don't know about these guys down there in Bakersfield not setting, not setting these lot corners. Alright, so we've got enough information to fill out our quick check. Okay, the, the, the top of the quick check. So, uh, here we go. This We don't have to change this. Property's never been surveyed. Okay. And uh, what I'm going to just say is uh, in its current configuration. So, those, those seven lots did get surveyed, but it was a long time ago. And that other, uh, the other big parcel has not been surveyed in its current configuration, and and I'll explain that a little bit in the email that goes to the, to the the real estate guy at the bank. Okay, so property corner monuments have never been permanently marked, as far as I can tell, none of them have ever been marked. Okay, and so that leaves us with the with the last two sections. Now I can't do anything with the title report because I don't have one. He's uh, the lender said he was going to get me one, and he hasn't done that yet. So the last part that we can fill out is the part here on encroachments. Okay, and so we want to go. We want to go look at that and uh, see what we got there as far as uh, potential encroachments go. Now, obviously, we 
we, we don't know for sure without um, a survey. Uh, but we're what we're trying to do is just evaluate the risk of an encroachment. So let's go back in the data tree and take a look at that. <clears throat> um, you know, I'm not super worried about much down here. Uh, there's no structures. Um, you know, that looks fairly reasonable to me. Okay. But uh, we do have some other potential issues here. So as I move up this line, yeah, that building's probably over. Uh, that's going to be an issue, right? Um, you know, and this is just the GIS parcel line work, but, um, you know, I don't see a real serious shift here. So we we probably got a building encroachment there. And it uh, looks like these buildings are okay, but, you you know, they're, they're close. We're not going to know without a survey. Um, this one has me really worried. Um, these are close. Yeah, it's just hard to say. You know what makes me nervous here is this. There's, they're just these corners aren't set, right? So you got to ask yourself how are how are people laying out these buildings? Um, but I don't see any major issues here. You know, I just this is just something I noticed, and and I don't know how critical it is, but it's possible that these folks here are using this as an access, which means they're they're traveling over this fee parcel. So. Um, yeah, that's if they got there's some access funkiness here, right? Because these aren't public streets. So, and in fact, our our parcel might be. Hopefully, there's an easement over this this parcel up front here. So I don't know if there. Hopefully, there's some shared access easements to get to this. Right, because they're not they're not driving across their lots. It doesn't look like based on where these lines are landing to get to Union Avenue over here. Okay, so we're going to just uh, come in and make a quick note of that. So, um, let's just take a look. I, did, I didn't see any major problems with walls or fences. This actually looks rather good compared to what it could be. Yeah, see, this, this fence does not... I just don't know if this is no man's land in here or what. It's just really hard to tell, right? But these guys are occupying that same strip, so yeah, we could have problems here. So I'm gonna just say um, I'm gonna leave both these checked. There could be fences off, and it looks like there's a building that could cross the cross the property line. Those other two buildings we looked at on that east line could also violate the setback. They're pretty close. I don't know what the setback is. Okay, so that doesn't need to change. I can't fill any of this out because I don't have a title report. Okay, so I'm just going to fix this text. It's a little too big. So what we're saying here is, uh, yep, you got issues. Uh, you should get a survey before you buy. Okay, and we don't find that on everything we look at, but we find it on a lot. I don't know, 70% of what we look at, we recommend a survey on just because of the issues. And you guys saw what some of those are. Okay, and that's basically it. That's the quick check. So we're going to go ahead and save that. Okay, and then what I like to do is I like to just put together a little email for the uh, for the client that kind of gives them a summary of what we found. But I realize I'm having issues with my Outlook, so I won't be able to do that. So um, we'll just we'll wrap it up there. So that give you guys a rough idea of what we do with a quick check. Again, looking at the deed, are there any issues with the deed? In this case, we did. We found an issue. There was no controlling calls on this big parcel. Um, does the deed match the tax assessor's map? Looks like it's a pretty close fit. We found in this case. Then we look at the survey maps. We want to know when was the last time this thing has been surveyed, if it's ever been surveyed. Are the corners set? Uh, we found out that the stack of uh, six lots was surveyed a long time ago. It's a pretty crummy survey. It doesn't look like you set the lot corners. And the big parcel has never been surveyed in its current configuration. And those corners also are, are not set. Then we look at encroachments. Uh, yeah, we probably got at least one building that crosses the line here. Um, we got some other buildings. These other two buildings here are pretty close. And, um, we, you know, we potentially have some access issues here, right? I'm not exactly sure how this this parcel gets to the public road or how this parcel... Uh, well, this one looks like it has access, but they, they could be using this... I don't know. There's some funkiness 
potential fucking is with some shared access. I need a title report to know for sure. Um, so we looked at that. And uh, yeah, they probably need to get this thing surveyed before they buy it. You know, my biggest concern is this building here. Um, but, the, you know, the issues with access could be important as well. So uh, there you go. That's how we do a quick check. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. And we'll catch you on the next video.